everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to make these menus right here. Cafe menus. This is going to be the part five, if I'm right, of the cafe series. Um, I decided to go on to this one next because it is a little more simpler um, and something I could do for you guys. Um, now, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button, everybody. It means so much to me. Um, and yeah, we're going to get right into this. Now, um, this is another episode of me copying Boba. I hope they don't kill me. Just kidding, guys. You're okay. You can totally use this. Um, but yeah, this was a little more diff difficult than I thought it could be. But um, I did it. It works. Um, and I'm so happy. Um, I might need to update a few things just because uh, new menus, stuff like that. Um, but I will show you. Actually, I'll have it updated probably before at the end of this video. But um, yeah, so basically, we have this right here. And of course, when you walk into a certain part, um, it goes like this in its view menu. So uh, what it does is, oh, I got a little bump. So you view menu, it's going to take you to the menu, and then uh, you have these little uh, things right here. So it's actually really, really nice. Um, and then if I, you know, want to go back or, or shoot th th certain things, um, super simple. But yeah, um, now keep note, Boba used, uh, I'm pretty sure, images right here. So you will need to make your own images. Um, I can't really teach you that right now. I will say, though, if you just watch tutorials on there, Honestly, you can use canva.com. It's a super easy thing. Um, the sizes don't really matter. Um, really be creative with it. And then, um, yeah, you just like make your thing when it comes to your menus. And uh, you just put it in here like how they did and um, fit, get it to fit the right size. And there you go. And then, yeah. So this is basically how it works. Um, I hope you guys kind of like that. But, um, yeah, so uh, let's... Um, Let's grab the model. You're going to go to the description. Now, all the links are in the description, you guys. Sorry, I'm telling a lot of ums. Been, I've been grinding today. I actually just got it done. So, pain in the butt, but it worked. Um, everything's in the description. It's going to be like this. Um, and you're going to grab this. So, you can download it. You can copy it, whatever you want. In studio. I came with some TVs just for you to, like, look at if you want. Um, but as you can tell, it's uh, pretty sick. Um, but, yeah. So, let's actually just hop right into studio. All right, so they should look like something like this. Um, you can import them by going to your toolbox and then uh, going to your inventory right here or just going to the models and hit model. Um, but they should be right here for you, so whatever you like. Um, but basically, um, you're going to load them in, and all you have to do is see the readme right here. All you have to do is ungroup this in workspace and then ungroup this in starter GUI. This took me a minute to figure out. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid. Uh, it took me a few hours, but um, yeah. So menu areas, basically, I'm just going to say this right now. Um, so you can touch these as long as much as you want anything in here Just do not touch the camera one two three or touch parts um, So how this works and how I set it up is you have a folder me called menus and then um, You have menu areas so you can make as many as you want. So if I wanted to make another one I'll do this real quick um, I'll go like this and I could just name it three You can even just name it whatever you want as long as there's a number and it's bigger than the last number You'll be good, but um yeah, so we have the menus right here. Now, the menus, they have just image labels. So you could just go inside them and then find that surface UI and then go inside the image label and change that to whatever you like. So, yeah, that's really all up to you guys. So, like, yeah, you can change it to anything. But that's what I meant. So, like, I put the bubble on there just for, just to show you, like, an example. But, um, yeah, so that's all you really need to do when it comes to editing now let's say if you wanted to have it go around the corner like how Boba just had in that last one you can move these keep note that like okay so right now it's facing a certain direction this this blue mark is going that way that's where the camera's facing so like if I were to go like this or no if I were to go on the green and go like that it's gonna be facing you know that that angle so just remember when you're tilting them uh, that's what happens um, and you could just keep messing around with that now the touch part you can mess with this as well um, this is just transparency set to one and you can like see what area this is, it is. So when they go inside it, it's going to pop that little GUI. But yeah, so um, basically that's all that happens. Um, now I will need to fix one thing as I did notice. But um, yeah, if you were to click play here and I will add, I'm going to quickly add some tweens and fix this so it doesn't have these buttons because there's no, it's not even open yet. But it looks like this and then, you know, you go over. Just does some simple little tweens, nothing too crazy, a little smaller. Um, I think this was kind of nicer, just so people can read it. It's a little smoother. Um, but yeah, I will fix that so these buttons don't pull up unless you're in there. But yeah, so see how this is working now. It closes, opens great. And if I go over here, opens great. Um, this is for the second one, and then for the third one, uh, yeah, works pretty good. Um, so 
basically, um, oh gosh, I think there was an issue. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, um, let me show you the scripts. All right, now for the scripts, um, I actually had to fix something. Um, I ran into some issues with uh, being able to have it so it only looks at this certain menu. So when you click it, it only does this one. Right now, it's actually just going to random things and it's just doing it randomly. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to be setting up a thing to fix this soon here. I'm just having some issues. But for the scripts, it's pretty easy. Uh, I did fix that as I was talking about just a second ago. Sorry, I took a little pause. I did fix it so it's only just that one button. Um, but yeah, so um, as you look in here, we have a few things. But um, as we look at the local variables, uh, we have the close button, next frame button, back frame, and then all the menu stuff, and then some tables. Um, these buttons, uh, we do these local variables, and then we have a tween server stuff right here. But um, we have a few local functions. Um, so the switch camera function is the main one. This is where uh, we check to see um, if they want to go right or left. Um, simply or not, we are doing a tween right here, and we're also setting the camera to scriptable. Um, and this is where we're setting the C-frame by using this index right here, by using this. Um, basically, we're grabbing the direction and uh, the index value of what it is at, so 0, 1, 2, or 3. Uh, one, two, three, um, and then we're checking that. Um, these are the local functions, enable, disable. Uh, this is just to uh, make these frames uh, undisable. By that, I mean just these uh, buttons and arrows and stuff. Um, this we'll use for the close button. Now, this is the main script right here. Oh, and also, yeah, sorry, the close button right here, we're just making the debounce. This is disable, enable. So when they open, when they hit open, basically what happens is when they walk in, it says open menu, um, and then you just click that, and then it's going to do the enable and then it's going to set that debounce, and it's going to say close menu, and then the arrows will pop up and all that, and then, you know, vice versa. But um, this is the main script. Um, I can't really explain too much, but I could say that um, basically we're going inside each of these uh, menus right here, checking if it's a folder, and we're grabbing the touch parts of each one and um, the menu GUIs, um, and then uh, the cameras. Uh, ca cameras we're using a little forward loop right here <laughs> to check... Um, what camera it is and then dot dot i so one two or three is it camera one two or three and we're creating an index value um this is where i'm kind of having struggles with right now is being able to check uh you know what's the correct one um so i will have to fix that later but yeah so basically right here we do uh if it's set to true is and you know it says open menu and i mean sorry it says yeah it says open menu then it's going to set their front c frame to the uh, menu uh, set that tween play, which is cool. And then, of course, when they hit close menu, it's going to send it back to the player. Uh, then these next and back buttons, we're using that switch camera function right here. Um, and we're doing that index value in one and then minus one. This is to just go down and up. And then when the player touches the part, by the way, this is what we're doing, getting the character, getting its humanoid. And we're setting that visible, uh, this little frame to make this thing in the bottom visible. And then same goes for touch ended. And that's about it. Um... Hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little tutorial. I'm going to be updating it soon here. I'm a little upset that I kind of run ran into this little problem. It's really annoying, but uh, it's okay. But yeah, so um, I will see you guys in the next video. Feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, join Discord or comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.